What's up guys, my name is Timbo and I am back yet again with more new Anthem info to share. Today we will be continuing our in-depth look at the four Javelin classes weapons, gear, and abilities. If you're unaware at release, the four types of Javelins in Anthem will include the Ranger, the Colossus, the Storm, and the Interceptor. So far we've taken a look at both the Ranger and the Colossus. If you'd like to watch those videos, I'll leave a link in the description as well as a button in the top right corner of your screen. Today though we will be taking a look at the Storm, a class that, as of right now, people know very little about. Just like before, all of the information I got for this video can be found on EA's website for Anthem. A link to that webpage will be left in the description below if you guys are interested in more information. And again, it is important to note before we get started that Anthem is still in development, so anything you see in this video is subject to change. After watching this, if you still have any questions about the game, you can write them in the comments below and I will do my best to try and answer them. And if you would like to keep up to date on any and all Anthem news just as it drops, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know you enjoyed this video by leaving a like. I will be making a video on the final class, the Interceptor, in the days to come, so make sure to stay tuned for that. In my opinion, the Storm is the most distinct of the four classes in Anthem, showcasing a unique playstyle and having some very different abilities available in its arsenal. Unlike the other Javelins, the Storm first arrived in Fort Tarsus as a rumor. The gossip. Son. The Storm is able to use powerful technology known as seals to boost latent kinesis powers of its Lancer. The result from all of that mumbo jumbo is a Javelin that can float effortlessly above the ground and unleash the raw energy of Anthem. The name of the game for the Storm is defensive moves and staying above the fight to dish out damage from a safe distance. Now that we've had the chance to meet the Storm and get some of that general info out of the way, now is the time to delve deep into its available weapons and abilities. Starting yet again with weaponry, the Storm is identical to the Ranger meaning that it can hold two weapons in their loadout, being able to change them in between missions. They are able to wield all weapons with the exception of heavy weapons as those can only be used by the Colossus class. Moving on to the Storm's melee ability, as I've said before all Javelins in Anthem have a special type of melee and the attack for the Storm is called Fiery Strike. With this move, the Storms use the seals on its arm to deliver an explosive flash that deals damage and knocks back enemies that have gotten too close, giving the Storm time to reposition at a safe distance. Unlike the other classes in Anthem, the Storm opts to use its seals to kill the mans, instead of launchers or grenades. The Storm has three types of seals, two defensive, one defensive. The three types of seals are Blast, Focus, and Support. The Blast seals are as follows. Lightning Strike, a targeted strike that deals lightning damage in an area. Ice Storm, creates a field of ice that deals damage, rapidly building to a final explosion of frost. Flame Burst, a quick explosion that deals fire damage at a target location. Rhyme Blast, fires out a flurry of ice projectiles that deal damage and freeze close range targets. And Living Flame, a burst of flame energy that seeks out and ignites targets. Next up are the Focus Seals, which include Hoarfrost Shards, rapid fire shards of ice that slowly freeze a target in place. Fireball, a versatile fire ability that can be fired quickly in small shots or charged for a larger projectile that explodes. Ball Lightning, a discharge of electric energy that can be bounced off of walls to reach targets behind cover. Glacial Beam, fires a beam of powerful ice energy in a targeted direction. And finally Arc Burst, which unleashes a blast of lightning that will leap to nearby targets for heavy damage. And then finally the last type of seal for the storm is its support seals, which include Wind Wall, generates a defensive wall of wind that deflects incoming enemy projectiles, and Nexus, creates a field which provides gear cooldown reduction to teammates who enter its radius. Wrapping up our list as always is the ultimate ability, which for the storm is titled Elemental Storm. During this ultimate, the raw force of Anthem is manipulated, as the storm emits successive blasts of frost, electricity, and fire, all coming to an end with a meteoric finale. And that friends will wrap up all of the general information we know about the storm at this time. Coming up soon will be the final video in this series, being all about the Interceptor, probably Anthem's most anticipated class. If you missed the videos already made on the Ranger and Colossus, there are links made just for you in the description. If you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like. To keep up to date on plenty more Anthem content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.